is biggest duke is the thirtieth. <laughs> Oh, uh, no prize for this old fool. Come now, everyone, be seated. Now, I come as your soon-to-be king and country owner. In these trying times, I am asking of your service and your land and your children's service and most of what you produce in your lifetime as a career employee. Well, I say employee for now. By the end of today, I hope to say serf. Yes, yes. I come now as uh, somebody who has done it all, tried it all. I've tried being a YouTuber. Not a single coin thrown my way. I have tried being a construction worker. Not a single nail nailed. Missed every time. Don't even know how I did that. And now I uh, send before you in my luxurious... Oh, my luxuries, my jewelry, my fine, my exotic pets. Oh, and I beseech ye to grant me what I rightfully deserve. Land, workers, and everything else that you have. I claim my kingdom to be that of New Mexico, which would be uh, the kingdom of Dukey as soon as the... You know, people in there leave or work for me. Because who wants New Mexico anyway? I figured that was just a great place to start. We'll go from there. We'll go from there. You know, plenty of rich farmlands and all kinds of things in the desert. But <laughs> let me tell you some of my qualifications as king. First off, I have a very refined palate. Ah, yes. I love to drink the green. Can't get enough of the stuff. Goodness, ooh, ooh, little fancy pour there. Oh, spilled some on myself, that's all right. Ah. And I have all the qualifications, such as sitting around, being loud, <laughs> huzzah! That was a, a crazy loud, that was awesome, I think, epic even. Ah, oh, oh yes, I can point and say, you are a treasonous traitor, take his head. And then some scary man with an axe will take his head off. If everything goes to plan, then don't worry. I'm really good at looking away whenever people are very sick from plague or whatever this new disease is coming out this year, I can't wait. Um, and I, I can take money and keep it for years and years, never sharing it with anybody. You know, I hear a lot of people are doing that now. Um, well, I guess less every day. So I'm trying to get in while I can. Ah, oh, exquisite Bobby Babel. A foreigner import. And you see me, kingly as I am, serving myself. Feeding myself, there should be a man with very clean, small, childlike hands feeding me. Now, do you think that is right? Do you think that is fair? I beseech you, gentlemen, should I have to stand off of my gilded toilet and wipe my own holy bum? I dare think not. As a king, your rightful ruler, I should have every luxury this land can be scraped and pushed to provide. So, I will graciously await your revolutions, your rallies, your showing up with pitchforks and torches to come and give me what I deserve. Everything. Until then, I bid you good day, good lords and ladies and most please serves of the land. Oh, and also, if there are any knights, could you bring your own armor? It's just so expensive and heavy, and nobody's given me their golden coins yet. Whatever am I to do without them? Somebody could come and cut off my head, and then what would I be good for anybody? Back where I started today. Ah, but enough musings. You King Dookie. Delicious, delicious green. And with your help, 
I'll be the only one drinking it, and I'll drink it all. Good day to you, I say, and three huzzas! Well, I'll just do one big one, I'm a little tired. Huzzah!